In the last video, we saw how the addition or removal of products or reactants affected a reaction at equilibrium. It shifts to one side or the other in order to compensate for the change and allowing it to re-establish equilibrium. This phenomenon occurs for changes in concentration or volume, but doesn't help us to explain what happens if we change the temperature of a reaction at equilibrium. Recall that equilibrium constants apply at a specific temperature. They actually change with changes in temperature. And exactly how they change is something we can understand by thinking about thermodynamics, specifically heat or enthalpy. Remember, all reactions are either endothermic, that is, they absorb heat energy from their surroundings and have delta, have positive delta H, or they're exothermic. They release heat energy to their surroundings and have negative delta H. We can sort of think of heat as a reactant or a product of a reaction. Endothermic reactions require heat in order to proceed. So we could imagine putting heat on the left side of the chemical equation. Similarly, Exothermic reactions produce heat, so you can imagine putting heat on the right side of the equation. If you increase the temperature of a reaction, you provide additional thermal energy, additional heat. For an endothermic reaction, by increasing the temperature, you're providing more of the necessary energy for the reaction to proceed. So by raising the temperature, you make the reaction more favorable and increase the KEQ. For an exothermic reaction, the opposite is true. If you increase the temperature, you're making it more difficult for the reaction to proceed. Because as it releases heat energy, if the surroundings are already hot, it's more difficult to heat them even further. So for exothermic reactions, Raising the temperature makes the reaction less favorable and decreases KEQ. The relationship between reaction enthalpy, temperature, and the equilibrium constant is expressed in the Van't Hoff equation, where K1 and K2 are the equilibrium constants at temperatures T1 and T2, measured in Kelvin. Delta H is the standard state reaction enthalpy, and R is the gas constant. 